Hi, I'm Miss Carrie, and I'm so glad that you've come to join me in my reading corner. My pick for today is another story from the Big Blue Book of Beginner Books. And today we are going to read A Fly Went By. A Fly Went By by Mike McClintock, illustrated by Fritz Siebel. For Kim and Leslie. I sat by the lake. I looked at the sky. And as I looked, a fly went by. A fly went by. He said, oh dear. I saw him shake. He shook with fear. And when I saw that fly go past, I asked him why he went so fast. I asked him why he shook with fear. I asked him why he said, oh dear. He said, I must get out of here. The fly said, Look, and you will see that frog. That frog is after me. The fly went past. The frog came fast. Ooh, it's such a big book. It's hard to turn the pages. I asked the frog, I asked him, why? Why do you want to get that fly? The frog said, me? I want no fly, but I must hop, and this is why. That cat, he said, just look and see, that cat, he said, is after me. Then, he was gone with one big hop. The cat ran up and I said, stop, now stop, stop, stop. I told the cat, do not pick on the frog like that. The cat said, look, I want no frog. I have to get away from... Dog! So, the fly ran away in fear of the frog, who ran from the cat, who ran from the dog. One ran from the other, the other ran too, from one who came after. Now what could I do? Away past the lake went the fly and the frog. Away past the lake ran the cat and the dog. They went past a shed and they went up a hill. I ran and I said, I will stop them, I will. The fly does not know that the frog is not mad. The frog does not know that the cat is not bad. The cat runs in fear of the dog, I can tell. If I can stop him, then all will be well. I ran a lot. I ran so fast. I came up to the dog at last. Now stop, I said. You are the one who did all this. Why do you run? Why do you want to bite that cat? Oh, you are bad to be like that. The dog said, no, that is not so. I want no cat. The cat can go. I do not want to bite the cat. I run to get away from that. Let's see what it is. That pig, he said, look back and see. She likes to bite and she wants me. So, the fly ran away in fear of the frog who ran from the cat who ran from the dog. The dog ran away in fear of the pig. My, she was mad and was she big. I said to the pig, so you were the one in back of all this. Now why do you run? Now why should a pig bite a dog? I said, and why are you mad? Are you out of your head? The pig said, I am not out of my head. See what is after me, look, she said.
That cow will hit me, said the pig. Those things up on her head are big. So the pig ran past. She ran past, fast. Then the cow ran up, and a little cow too. I said, now what got into you? Do not pick on the pig, you two. The cow said, pig? The pig can go. That is not why we run. Oh, no. But someone bad has made us run. He wants to kill my little one. I asked the cow, who wants to kill your little one? Why, no one will. The cow said, look up on the hill. The fox is there. He comes to kill. The cow and little cow ran past. All full of fear, they ran past fast. So, the fly ran away in fear of the frog who ran from the cat who ran from the dog. The dog ran away from the pig. And now the pig ran away in fear of the cow. They came to the woods and there was a tent, but they did not stop. In and out they all went, and last came the fox. So he was the one who made them all fear and made them all run. Yes, he was the one who was bad, I could tell. If I could stop him, then all would be well. I told the fox, Oh, shame on you. Oh, shame, shame, shame for what you do. You want to kill the little cow. You stop or I will whip you now. The fox said, now what did I do? Why do you say, oh, shame on you? I tell you I would never kill that little cow. I never will. The fox said, this is why I ran back in the woods. I saw a man. I saw a man. He had a gun. He wants to get me. Let me run. So the fly ran away in fear of the frog who ran from the cat who ran from the dog. The dog and the pig and the cows, they all ran. And then came the fox who ran from the man. They came to a house and went down the hall. And when they went out, there was a big wall. But that did not stop them. Oh no, not at all. They ran and they ran. They came to a town. They went up one way and then they went down. They went up one way and then down another. They ran and they ran one after the other. They came to a bank, but they did not stop. They went in the bank with a jump and a hop. With a jump and a hop, they ran in and then they went out the back way and ran on again. I ran as fast as I could run. I told the man, you are the one in back of this. You are the one who wants the fox. Put down your gun. Fox, fox, the man said. No, I saw no fox, but I must go. For you should see, yes, you should see the thing that now is after me. I did not see it, said the man. I took my gun and then I ran, for I could hear it bump and thump. It was so bad it made me jump. It was so bad it made me fear. It was so big. It was so near. It must be ten feet tall, he said, and big and fat and bad and red. Why, it can bite and kick and kill, and it will do it. Yes, it will. I hear it now. Come on, I say, for I must run and get away. And it says, bump, thump. That's what he's hearing. The man ran past fast, fast, fast. What did I hear? A bump and thump. It was so bad it made me jump. I was about to run away. But then I saw the thing and say, it was not tall. It was not mad. It was not big. It was not bad. Was this the thing that made them run and made them fear? Was this the one?
It was a little sheep, so tame. It came to me, and it was lame. I saw what made the thump, the bump and thump. I saw the thing that made me jump. The sheep said, Look at this tin can. I cannot get it off. I ran. I ran for help. I saw a man. I went to him, but then he ran. Why did he run away from me? I just want help, as you can see. I said, I will get help for you, and I can help the others too, for now I know just what to do. Oh man, I called, come back, come here. This is a sheep, so have no fear. The sheep wants help, for it is lame. Come back, come here. And then he came. And then the man took off the can, but still the others ran and ran. They did not know about the can. I had to call so they would hear. I had to tell them not to fear. I had to tell them all was well. And so I gave a great big yell. Stop! Looks like they all crashed into each other. I said to them all, you must not run away. No one is after you, no one, I say. You all ran away, and now I know why. I sat by the lake, and there came a fly. The fly ran away in fear of the frog, who ran from the cat, who ran from the dog. The dog ran away in fear of the pig, who ran from the cow. She was so big. The cow ran away from the fox, who ran as fast as he could in fear of the man. That man heard a thump. And away he ran. It was just a sheep with an old tin can. I looked at them all, and then I could tell they all had no fear. And now all was well. They all went away. They all waved goodbye. So, I sat by the lake and looked at the sky. Whew! makes me tired just thinking about all that running. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you'll join me for my next reading corner. Bye for now.